this is your tutorial for GearGenerator.com. Here's the link in your notes, but the link will also be in the assignment. So for Gear Generator, these are virtual gears, so you have the gears on the right side, and you have the ability to control them and change their size and shape and all sorts of things on the left-hand side. As they spin around, notice the red dots. The red dots are basically like the starting position. Over here on the left, we have animation, start, stop, freeze, reset. So we're going to hit stop, so our gears are stopped spinning. Now, if I hit start again, they just pick right back up where they are. I don't, I'm not really sure what the difference is between start, stop, and freeze, but somebody figure it out and let me know. Now, if I have them, they're moving around. Do you see where my red darts, dots are? They're kind of wherever they want to be right now. If I hit reset, it puts them back at a starting position where they're beside each other. This will be very handy and useful information for you as you have to figure out how many times does it go around. You can easily figure that out by watching the red dots. Up here, speed rotation per minute. You want to leave this at 6 for our first gear, so it needs to be at 6. Now down here, you have all of the gears that are listed over here, and we will be removing them. So go ahead and remove all of them but the first one, which, you know what, you can't remove. So you can't even clear it. Oh, oh, no, don't hit that button. Um, so it's there. Now the next thing we have are connection properties. We will not do anything with this. You don't need to do with this. Connection angle needs to be negative 60. You can see that puts this here. It gives you plenty of workspace to build. If you have it up here, you don't have as much workspace to build. And click auto position because you want it to auto put itself in the right spot. It makes life easier for you. Now down here under gear properties, we have number of teeth, pitch diameter, diametral diameter, or diametral pitch and pressure angle. We don't need to worry about pressure angle. You do want to change your diametral pitch to five. Don't worry about what that means. I'll sum it up for you. It basically just pushes the teeth a little bit closer together. So it makes your gear a little bit smaller. And then number of teeth for this right here is going to get changed a lot in the course of this assignment, but just to save yourself some time right now, Go ahead and change it to 16. So you can see there is a gear with 16 teeth. Okay? Ignore download. You will not be downloading. Under display, we have a scale. You want to change this to 75. It makes things a little bit smaller for you to see. If you still can't see it in your Chromebook, go ahead and change it to 50, whatever you need to do to work. Now down here you have who knows what's check mark when you first go in, but you have grid. So feel free, check it, uncheck it, see what happens. Gear lines, you really don't need those, get rid of those. Gear label, that's just the information in the center, so you can check or uncheck it. It doesn't matter, sometimes it gets messy, and all we care about is the gear. And then you have your choice of what color or background you wanna work with. In all of your directions, I have light chosen, so if you want yours to match mine, it's right there, okay? So that is how you use gear generator. Okay, have fun with it. I mean, once you do your assignment, go ahead and play with it a little bit.